Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've talked, but here I am to give you some more advice. Alright, so the, so the reason why I stopped um, filming for a bit is because I actually uh, decided to stop uh, studying for the FE exam and the reason why is that I actually went back to school uh, to get my second bachelor's, so I am going for that now. I got a year and a half left before I finished the program and maybe a year from now I'll take the FE exam. For now I'm taking a break. Um, the second bachelor's program is going really well for me. Um, I have mostly A's now, which is really good. I'm excelling all my classes right now, and um, I just want to give some general advice for the freshmen and underclassmen there. So the first piece of advice I want to give to engineering freshmen and underclassmen is to take your time. Don't be afraid to take one extra semester or even a whole year. Um, when I was at Cal Poly, it was called the five-year program, and that's because everybody took their time. Think about it. Okay, so. Um, most engineering programs will have about 120 to 130 units that you need to complete in order to graduate. Divide that by eight semesters, which is four years. That's roughly about 16 to 17 units you have to take per semester, which for engineering is a little bit insane. You don't you don't want to do that. But if you take um, one extra semester and a couple summer classes, they only need to take 12 to 13 units per semester. And this is really beneficial because you get more time to focus on your on your subject and really absorb the material instead of just brushing through it uh, number two you have time to work which is really nice to have spare money during college or if you need to support yourself that is kind of necessary and finally number three you get free time to spend with friends you know who doesn't want that so you get to work and spend time with friends whereas if you were to take 16 to 17 units per semester then you probably won't have much of a social life number two you have to get involved okay um, what I mean by this is clubs and stuff. You have to get involved into your clubs, um, at least get into one or find a hobby that you can get into and really develop your engineering school skills. Sorry, skills outside of class. Um, this can include making cars, making rockets, playing with Arduino, which is what I love to do, 3D printing, whatever it is, something engineering related that you can really get yourself into and join a club for. If you can't, then find a hobby and get, get into that. Um, my advice is if you can't find a, a club or a hobby that you can really sink your teeth into and you kind of just pass, passively taking classes, engineering might not be the major for you and you might want to switch and I'll cover that in a different video. If you're doing really well in engineering classes but for some reason don't want to get involved in engineering, um, I really suggest you do because it helps you be social and have more fun in the engineering major. Number three, you are an engineer now, it's time to give up your weeknights. I'm sorry. I know, I know. Every other every other college student, um, sociology or business majors, you know how business majors are, um, it's like Wednesday or Tuesday night and they go out at like t like midnight or 1, 1 a.m. and get donuts or like go to the club or do something really fun. Look, um, I kind of did that too and I think it's okay to do once in a while as an engineer. You can probably go out once during the weekday as an engineer, but for the most part, just give up your weekdays, okay? Use the time to focus and study, study hard, and once it's Friday night, go out. Once it's the weekend, go out, but on your weekdays, focus. Your weekends are your time to go out. I say Saturday morning till the afternoon, you might be drunk or hungover or whatever. Try and reserve that afternoon time to study a little bit on a Saturday until 4, you know, or until dinner time, then you can go out again. And of course, Sundays, you're trying to get back into school mode. So maybe after dinner on a Sunday, you should get back into studying. And finally, number four, and this is really important, is to socialize and make engineering friends. Um, this will make you like your major a lot more. And I think this is the reason why a lot of people drop out or don't want to stay in engineering anymore. But as long as you make friends, you have people that you can that you share the burden or struggle with of engineering. Because I know it's not it's not fun sometimes and it's, and it's really difficult. But with friends that you can talk to about it with, it makes it a much more um, rewarding experience. And not only that, but you're able to give each other advice on internships, uh, part-time jobs and any connections that, that your friends could have. For example, like some friends you probably know um, are rich or have like rich dads who own an engineering company or are in some high position in engineering. Those are really good friends to make. 
Um, you never know if they can hook you up with an internship or, or even a full-time job position. So keep in touch with them, make a lot of engineering friends, and talk to the professors that you like. Okay, so to recap, um, take your time, spend more time in school, get involved, um, give up your weeknights, but hang out on weekends, and make some engineering friends. That's it, I'm out. Thank you.